So hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a qualified accountant with a practice in the UK and the UAE and here is the discussion about all things business, tax, building wealth and excelling as a Muslim woman which a lot of us find quite difficult, myself included. So if you can relate to any of that then do go ahead and click the subscribe button and like this video to see some more of this kind of stuff. So in this video I'm going to go through a guide on how to start a business in Dubai, the process of it and a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually do it. So this is something that I have done myself personally and just to give you a little bit of a background I moved to the UAE in November 2021 and it has been one of the best decisions that we have made as a family. I do have a video on why we moved um, to Dubai and I'll link that down below. Now, according to this article, the UAE was the second country that the most wealthiest people were moving to in 2023. The UAE is very popular and the government has made plans to extend the population to 5.8 million by 2040, which means that they are making it easier for wealthy people to get residency out here. Now, one of the main reasons for people migrating to the UAE is because of the tax benefits and the lifestyle. There are a number of reasons and I will go through that in another video because that's too long. So how do you get residency in the UAE, Dubai specifically for a lot of you? Well, it is pretty simple. You either get a job offer, you buy a property or you build your own business. So it's the three main ways to open up a business or get residency in the UAE. Now I'm going to talk about the process of actually building your own business as this is something that I have done um, and I do for a lot of my clients on a daily basis. So it's very familiar to me. So whether you are getting a mainland company or a free zone company, the process is very similar. You are essentially looking at having your business set up and your residency all done within two to three weeks, which is super quick. And as quick as that, you are able to live and work and operate your business out here in the UAE. So what is the step-by-step -step guide and how do we do this for our clients? So it's important to note that the whole process can be done remotely, so you don't actually have to be in the country. Um, and there are, is only a few days that you will actually need to be in the country for actual residency part of it in order to get your medical testing and biometric appointment done. The biometrics appointments, they are looking to make virtual, which is excellent as it will make this process even more quicker. So firstly, we would apply for your business license and that would probably take, well, typically takes about five working days to arrive. Now, once you do have your business license, you are free to start trading so you can operate and invoice your clients. However, it is important to note that you would not have your business bank account yet as that step will only be done once you do get your Emirates ID. So once we have this, we apply for something called an e-visa. This is a visa which allows you to enter into the country and get your visa process started. So once you do enter the country, that e-visa then converts into a residency visa process. Now we do this all through the VIP process. So the majority of our clients sign up for this and this will normally take 48 hours from the time that you actually enter the country. Again, you will not need to do anything for this process and we will deal with the government on your behalf and send all the documents and all the necessary things across to them. They can be a little bit difficult. Once you have entered the country with that e-visa, then the residency visa process is initiated and we would get your medical testing and your biometrics appointment done on the same day or just the day after depending on availability. This medical test takes around 30 minutes um, and the biometrics appointment takes around 20 minutes and it can all be done on the same day back to back. And the reason for that is the medical testing is done through VIP so you get your results in 30 minutes. Once you do have all of this confirmed then we would get your residency visa stamping initiated and this would again be done through that VIP processing and it would only take around 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours to actually get your visa stamped. Once your visa is stamped, that's your residency complete. And just like that, you have your UAE residency visa within 10 days. So once you do get your visa though, once your visa is stamped, then you can leave the country if you wish. It's important to note that once that residency visa process starts, you aren't able to actually leave the country until your visa is stamped. So getting that done through the VIP process is super important if you are traveling and back and forth to places. A lot of people don't know this and they think that they can just go to all these different countries in the UAE for mini breaks while their visa is getting done and that's not the case. So once you do have your visa stamping done and your Emirates ID will arrive within five to seven working days and from that point then you can start thinking about tenancy agreements and things like that. Once you have received this Emirates ID then you will start to operate as a citizen as the majority of the places do ask for that Emirates ID. So it's really important that you are able to get this in order to open up your business bank account. Now, once you do get this, is there something else that you need to consider? Yes, 
The UAE have introduced a new corporation tax system from June 2023, which means that all businesses, and I mean all businesses, including free zone companies, need to register for corporation tax. Now, this may not necessarily mean that you have to pay corporation tax, but you do need to start filing annual accounts. It's the same as the UK. It doesn't matter if you're making a profit or a loss, you still need to declare that in the UAE. If you have not registered by June 2023, then you will be fine. So it's really important to get that done as soon as possible. So after your business is set up, then you might want to find a UAE accountant, UISA Consulting, um, to be able to help with the bookkeeping, annual accounts, and potentially the VAT if that is required. You then might want to think about the following, such as sponsoring the family, health insurance, schooling, um, making sure that you are up to date with business license renewals, as that needs to be done on an annual basis, as well as your Emirates ID and visa, which may be every year, every Every two years or every three years. So I hope this video has been helpful and if there is something specific that you would like to see then do put a comment down below and I will get it on my to-do list. Hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.